I don't know if she realized it, but Ellen DeGeneres may have just created a new generation of watch geeks. What is up, watch fam? I am Christian from Theo and Harris, and today's watch-related question of the day is what kind of impact can celebrities have on the watch industry? And I'm gonna be talking about a very specific example relating to Ellen DeGeneres. Today I'm wearing uh, my vintage jump hour watch my parents gifted to me when I graduated from college. Um, it's very special to me, and it will never be available in the Theo and Harris watch shop, but plenty of great vintage stuff is, so head on over after this video. So, celebrities' impact on the watch industry? The answer is, is yes, of course. Celebrities, you know, have a pull. We watch celebrities. We, we, we want to know, you know, where they live. It's like almost creepy, you know, how much information we want to have about celebrities and, and what are they interested in and, and can we also kind of be involved. Um, now, the watch industry, I think, has used this poorly in the past. Um, I've gone on record saying many times, I don't think George Clooney's face outside of the Holland Tunnel, despite the millions of dollars he was paid to sell watches to me, sells watches to me. I think it's useless. That's a bad use of celebrity. But what is a good use of celebrity? A good use of celebrity is when um, a celebrity, John Mayer, Alan DeGeneres, Mark Wahlberg, whoever, can actually speak in an informed and passionate way about a subject. That is when people are sold. That's when not only just exposure happens, but, but conversion. And just the other day on Ellen DeGeneres' show, I think something, although small, pretty amazing, and maybe the beginning of something even more amazing happened. Um, Ellen DeGeneres had Mark Wahlberg on the show. Both of these people are very well-known watch collectors. Um, Ellen has everything, maybe one of the best collectors in America. Uh, Paul Newman Daytona's, uh, Rolex, uh, Paddocks, Grand Comps, um, and all the metal. All right, Ellen, what are three things you wish you owned but don't? Uh, um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Mark Wahlberg, just the same. He is always wearing something, while well, usually iced out pretty uh, obscure and amazing. So just the other day on Ellen's show, when she had Mark on, she said, you know, Mark, I know that we, we share a, a hobby, a passion, um, and that's watches. So I, so I got you something. I was mm -hmm. always admiring your watch collection, by the way. I like watches, you like watches. Yes. That's a nice watch you have there. That's a nice watch. This Ooh, is a nice yeah. watch. And Ellen is known, as many of you guys know, uh, for um, kind of giving, you know, quite often their, their grand gifts. $20,000. Today they're committing $1 million to this project. Very, very generous. Um, so Mark was like, oh geez, like what did you get me, Ellen? But then to Mark's surprise, when he opens up the box, it's, a, it's like a Casio, you know, $25 watch. Nice, the calculator. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Does it have an in the glow light on it? Yes. That's actually, you know what, I'll wear a fancy watch every once in a while, but I always do. Do you really like that? Yes, oh, I do. Oh, fantastic. This is lovely. I thought I'll get you a Casio, and then, uh, but oh, you yeah. like it. That's great. Oh, yeah. Um, which is funny, because it's probably the most collectible Casio in the world right now, um, just given it's celebrity. So what does this mean? Why are we even talking about this? What kind of impact can a, a Casio uh, really have um, for 30 seconds on Ellen DeGeneres' show? I think a lot of impact. What we saw here was an honest moment between two people that actually probably friends, I mean, pretty pretty friendly, um, share a passion, share a hobby. It's not just exposure, but it's like legitimization uh, in front of the world. Did everyone care? No, but this is maybe the first time that Ellen, one of the biggest celebrities in the world, went on record saying, like, I love watches, they're, they're really, really cool, and Mark Wahlberg loves watches too, and like, we're gonna get each other watches now. Whether it's $250 or $250,000, the point remains, the interest is there. It's now a bit of a conversation, and I'm pretty damn sure we'll notice the ripple effect. Not only was this, you know, little story covered by just dozens, maybe a hundred publications, uh, which in and of itself is pretty damn cool. But I think it puts watches on the table. Um, it makes it a more relevant subject matter. Something that celebrities, as opposed to just, you know, buying and owning and, and wearing, actually want to talk about. Adam Levine, big watch guy. Brian Ferry, if that's your thing, another big watch guy. I know it seems small, but this is the kind of 
you know, marketing, and they weren't even paid for this probably, that actually introduces and converts new fans. So Ellen, I'm not even sure if you realize what you've done, but I think you just did an amazing thing for the launch community. Mark, enjoy your Casio. And folks, please comment down below on your thoughts. Do you think that celebrities have an impact on the watch industry? Of course the answer is yes. But tell me how, why, when. Um, did a celebrity ever impact your decision? Looking forward to reading your answers. See you guys soon.